don't know if... Okay, let me find out where the bamboo went. If it did go anywhere. Oh! Wait. I was thinking the boats destroyed it, but I don't think so. Boats probably can't destroy them. So a bunch of bamboo blew in here, but where are the roots? Because if the roots are missing, I actually lose resources. Huh. Where do the roots go? You don't get why there's three horsemen, it should be four. It's not the apocalypse. The apocalypse is the hail. This is what destroys everything. This little stuff right here. Season's over in eight days, I think. The walls are basically gone now, so I guess yes. There are no walls anymore. Okay, why is the fisherman here? Start a war here. Or my game can crash.
I feel like the hate on Riven is Circle Jerk. Even KDA is always so low, because they're always so suicidal, because they're not that good at the game. I, I never understood why people thought Raven was broken. I know she's really strong, but she has to be strong, which is melee. Riven means because 95% of them are toxic. That's hilarious. Oh, I love that. That's actually really good. Wasn't there like a graph or something of really toxic players? Number one was like Master Yi or something? Was it Master Yi or Riven? Vayne is up there too and then there's Lee Sin. That shit is so funny. Anybody know what the list is? Exactly? I'm pretty sure it's like Master Yi number one. It's either Master Yi, Riven, or Vayne, number one, the most toxic players. Most toxic players are Mew Mew players, but they don't get into game. They just flash the summoners and then game gets dodged. You can never get banned for it. Master Yi and Vayne players are toxic because they want to solo carry, and if you don't cover them when they go in 1v5, then you're a piece of garbage. Don't worry, I can carry. You've heard that, right? Uh, I want to play the Surfer Chick after the season ends, which is... I think in 8 days? Katarina players are pretty toxic too. I think most Assassin players are pretty toxic. Katarina, Zed, Yasuo, they're all pretty toxic. Because they always want to carry, like solo carry. Toxic? Yeah, I'm so toxic. I'm the most toxic player ever. Oh, that's why I had it on me, the rot. I'm so toxic that I've been playing for six years with, I think, six accounts, five or six accounts, and I've never been banned. So toxic. Maybe I just got lucky again. Just like how I get lucky with getting diamond every season. And how I get lucky with surviving and don't starve and never dying. Oh, 
Oh, I hate AD carries. Because I play support a lot. I hate those Ezreal players. Damn you, Ezreal players in chat. Ezreal's my least favorite AD carry to play with. My favorite used to be Graves and Draven, because they're aggressive. But I think Graves is garbage now. I just hate everything about Ezreal. I don't know. He just annoys me. This little pea shooter makes like pew pew noises. Maybe I really am toxic. Right, just doesn't know yet. Oh, I like Lucian too. Lucian Graves, those two. Lucian Graves, Raven. My favorite AD carries to support. Solutions, especially when they call the opposite way multiple times in one day. I don't think this is very good. Not very good sustain. I might have to farm monkeys a lot during the other seasons. Just for the poop. I don't even know what to do this season anymore. The season was boring to begin with, but now I'm just doing chores. I guess I'll do some troll netting. I always like Corky. Playing Corky. Corky and Vayne were my favorite AD carries. I guess Graves too. To play, I mean. Even if my AD carry is garbage, I would never actually flame them in chat. If I'm streaming, I'll complain about them, but if I'm not streaming, I'll just ignore it. People who make unnecessary comments are the most irritating people in the world. Passive aggressive people who don't realize they're being passive aggressive. They're the most irritating people in the world. That's pretty passive aggressive. I think I'm just going to troll it here, deep area. It's close to my base. Actually, I should probably light this all up with bioluminescence. So I don't need to actually use a light. Huh. That's actually pretty cool. It's technically still base building because your base is extending into the ocean. I guess I'll do that. That's a really good plan to make up for the rest of the base dying.
So I'm probably gonna make a trail and then surround this area with bioluminescence. Damn, that actually sounds really fun. This game still is really fun, I guess. Play just needs to step it up. How do you predict where to hook? You can't explain that, it's intuition. Uh, but if you see that people are instantly using their escape, it just hook where you think they're gonna be. You're not gonna hit it 100% of the time, nobody does. Not even the pros do. You can just assume that they're gonna do a, a certain play and then try and catch them. Are you serious? What? What was that troll net? It was like all muscles. You don't need to be a diamond player to be good at the game. There's a lot of people in gold and plat that are okay, mechanically. They just have really garbage decision making. Mechanics are not everything. 